it's Georgia and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be answering your questions. I asked you guys on my social media if you guys had anything that you wanted to know from me and I have a bunch a bunch of questions. But before we get into the video, I just wanted to quickly address the background situation. This is my new like filming setup. It's probably going to take a few videos, I'd say, till I like work out exactly how I want it and like get everything positioned right and work out how everything's going to work. But yeah, for now, I think this looks really cool. It's very me. I love this background and I hope you guys like it too. Also I'll be playing around with the lighting and stuff as well because that's a bit of an issue but hopefully everything's okay. Please let me know in the comments what you guys think of this new setup. I've got a new filming room which is like permanent and I'm super duper excited about it. If you guys have seen my vlogs about it you would already know but without further ado let's jump in and get into the questions. I'm not sure which questions to start with. I think we're going to start with Snapchat because I absolutely adore my Snapchat family. So the first one is from Jasmine and she has said, I've started uni this year and I'm worried I'm not enjoying my course at all. I'm always stressed and I feel like it's not what I want to do even though I've wanted this career since I was 12. How did you know that you wanted to change courses and knew it was the right idea? I don't want to change and then regret it later. Were you worried it wasn't the right idea? P.S. You're so sweet and I love your videos. Thank you so much. Um, so pretty much, if you guys didn't know, I changed courses um, halfway through last year. So I went straight into university from school and I ended up deciding that that course that I was doing, it was sort of a bridging course to get to where I wanted to be, but it turned out that I didn't actually want to get there. I realized while doing that bridging course what it was that, you know, made me excited, um, made me curious to learn, and that is sort of how I knew that that was the right choice for me. I sort of had to combine my two favorite disciplines that I knew I'd loved since I was like, 15 or something so I just sort of knew it just was a feeling I felt like it was right it was definitely a big leap of faith um, I was scared I was nervous I was worried to do it but once you try it out that's the only way you're gonna know so I definitely made the right decision and it just takes some time there's absolutely no reason to rush at all um, and it's something that you know can take time you know everyone's not the same not everybody knows and gets into their like preferred degree straight away so don't stress about it um, you know these things take time and everything happens for a reason so trust your gut think really hard about it definitely do your research and talk to multiple people about your decision before you do it um, but yeah you've just got to trust your gut sometimes Sometimes. Wishing you the best of luck, Jasmine. Next question is my biggest goal in life. And sorry, I can't pronounce your username. <laughs> my biggest goal in life, probably really cheesy, but it's just to be happy. I don't want anything else other than to be happy with whatever I'm doing, my career, the people around me. I just want to be enjoying life. And I know that sounds very, very cheesy, but it's true because you know, happiness, I don't care if I'm poor, you know, I don't care if I don't have the fanciest house ever, as long as I'm internally happy and, you know, I'm loving life, that's all I can ask for. But in terms of like career and stuff, I have like a career goal, which is pretty much just to own my own business, create like a wellness um, center that's run by me. I can do all of my psychology clients through there and yeah, it would just be amazing. I have this big vision in my head, but yeah, overall just to be happy. Rachel asked, what's three things that make you the happiest and three things that make you not so happy? This is a cool question. So three things that make me the happiest number one would be being surrounded by like my friends and family two the beach on like a beautiful day like swimming in the ocean and three would probably be working out like I get so excited um, about like exercising and stuff so they would be the three happiest things and the three things that make me not so happy number one would be nasty people makes me so not happy. Number two would be failure, like failing at something or yeah, just not doing so well in something. Um, that sucks. My last one would probably be seeing those closest to me unhappy um, or like upset or hurting. That 
kills me. So yeah, friends or family. What's your biggest fear in life? This is a cool question. So I would probably say it's either like criminals, like someone robbing me, someone assaulting me, like, um, but also death, like the thought of dying freaks me out. I can't think about it for too long because I'll get like upset. <laughs> Adelaide asked, how long did it take for you to see results muscle wise? And can you also do a workout routine? Your body is goals. Thank you. Um, so for me to see results muscle wise, it definitely took a while. I remember there was like a period, probably like a month to six weeks where I felt like I was putting in all this effort and not getting anything back. Um, and that sucks. And that's probably why a lot of people tend to, you know, not go through with fitness plans and, you know, working out goals and things like that. But it's once you get past that, um, that you really understand like why people do it. I don't really know why, I guess I'm just determined, but I stuck through that and I came out the other side and yeah, it probably took me about, probably took me about six weeks until I noticed changes uh, muscle wise and it only goes up from there. So I am more determined to, you know, up my weights and, you know, work harder at the gym and it's almost addictive, but it's a good addictive. <laughs> if you could move anywhere in the world other than Brisbane, where would it be? So if I could move anywhere, it would probably be the Gold Coast. I can see myself living on the coast. It would probably be the Gold Coast because that's like the only place other than Brisbane that I can really see myself living in um, because I can't see myself living for a long period of time overseas. I'll always want to travel. I'll always, you know, you know, want to go to other countries, but I don't think I could live there for a long time because I would get homesick. I am the worst. So I'm going to say the Gold Coast if that counts. Caitlin asks, what is the most rewarding thing you have ever done? This is a good question. This got me thinking when I first read it and I'm still not 100% sure, but something that was really rewarding was feeding the homeless in grade 12. So at my school, we had like this little group where every Wednesday or whatever it was, like every second Wednesday, I don't actually remember what the schedule was, but we would go down to um, like our local park and feed the homeless in our like area. And it was such a rewarding and humbling thing to do. I absolutely loved it. I didn't obviously do it every single week or, you know, every week that we did do it um, because we had like a bit of a roster, but it was so good. Every time I did it, I just, oh, it was such a beautiful experience and I will take that with me for the rest of my life. It was, it was amazing. But that is all the questions I'm going to be answering today. Um, I will have another video coming up soon with my most asked questions so it's still a Q&A styled video but I'm just going to be answering the questions that I get so often um, and addressing like everything that you probably want to know so stay tuned for that video but I hope you did enjoy this one thank you to everyone who has asked me a question I love you so incredibly much it is the nicest thing when I get a question from you guys but other than that, I will see you guys all in a video very, very soon. Bye, guys.